Hey everyone, we're in front of the famous Fountain of Youth that was discovered by Ponce de Leon, um, or at least that's what he intended on looking for. Um, this is an archaeological state park, and we're about to go inside and check it out. I don't think he was this tall. They he, said he was like four foot nine or something. Four eleven, I think. Four eleven. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one was a foot taller than that. So. Yeah, I don't think he's that tall. Yeah. <laughs> We got our tickets and now we're just waiting to get inside. So we're in front of the firearms uh, presentation. This is uh, where they're going to fire off a uh, an old rifle. I guess it's supposed to be more uh, equivalent to a shotgun. But, uh, yeah, check it out. What's everyone doing today? Good. Okay, what I'm going to be firing for you today is the Matchlock Arquebus. This is pretty much a shotgun of the 1500s. Well, I want to thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you have a happy new year. Alright, so we're at the top of the tower, uh, quite a view from up here, but uh, the cannon show's about to start, so I think we're going to head right back down again, but, but it's good if you have time to take it with you. This is where they would, um, they would guard. Yeah, I believe this is the guard tower. Yeah, this is the guard tower, so they could see for miles any which way, if anything was coming.
Very heavy, huh? Yeah. It's All right, more, try the two to if one. If you had gloves, this would be easier. Yeah, try the two to one. Let's see. Hold on, Gage. A lot easier? Yeah, the problem is, is that they have the, the knots. Uh, the yeah. There. All right, how about the three to, or four to one ratio? Oh, yeah, look at it go. Looks like you're again hitting the knot there. Yeah, I don't think they want you to go that it's far. It's more of the ropes tearing up your hands than it is the weight of the object. Yeah. Welcome to the St. Yeah. Augustine Boathouse. Sucks. One of the single most important industries of early colonial Spanish capitals was boat building. So we just watched the uh, blacksmith demonstration, uh, this is the forge uh, in which he used. The uh, amazing thing about it is, is I, I don't know if anybody really thinks about this, but even the simplest of tasks like nails, they would have to make each one of those by hand. And what we just learned was that there's an apprentice that would most likely cover the little small details like that while the blacksmith himself would work on a bigger project. So we're waiting in line at the Fountain Youth to go try some of that water. Lord knows I need it, um, but we're gonna go inside check it out. Bottoms up. Good luck, Nicholas. Doing this one at a time? No, do it all together. Come on. Okay. Drink, drink. Make sense that. <laughs> Don't stop. You know, us ladies we need all the youth we can get. It tastes horrible. <laughs> do I look younger already? Uh -huh. <laughs> feeling younger already and on that note we're wrapping up our day here at St. Augustine <laughs> in St. Augustine's actually yeah almost in St. Augustine's um, we're wrapping up our day here uh, at the Fountain of Youth uh, hopefully the effects last a long time um, we did get to see a lot of things and we learned a lot so I recommend visiting if you're ever in the area You have to exit through a gift shop. You always, you always have to exit through the gift shop. If you're looking to bring any bottled water home, well, this delicious the fountain of youth water, you can buy some here for $5.95. They have smaller containers too. You can bring it home to your family too. Yes. And if your family's getting too old for you, bring it home for them. That's a recommendation. <laughs> <laughs>